Welcome. In this video, we will look at how we can use the cross-docking capabilities in S4 HANA transportation management to ensure efficient deliveries to customers while retaining visibility and cost control. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved. Before we kick off, let us look at some of the benefits of using S4 HANA transportation management cross-docking. Cross-docking can help to reduce transportation costs through optimized routing. It can improve customer satisfaction by reducing lead time and more frequent deliveries. You can reduce overall inventory levels by providing alternative sourcing locations. In our demo scenario, we will work with three different customer sales orders. Our first order involves a shipment from Detroit, Michigan to Fort Worth, Texas. The second order is shipped from our warehouse in Deer Creek, Palo Alto, California to a customer in Houston, Texas. Our third, and final order, ships from our second Palo Alto warehouse, to Pearland, Texas. In TM, any logical or physical place in which products or resources are managed on a quantity basis is defined as a location. You use one-time locations in case the location has not been defined as master data objects. The system creates one-time locations based on one-time address details that you provide, for instance, on a sales order. Transshipment locations are used for locations where unloading goods from one vehicle resource and loading it onto another vehicle resource can take place during the transportation process. Transshipment locations are connected either to another location or to a transportation zone. If you define a transshipment location and want to use it in your transportation processes, you must define transportation lanes that take them into account. A transportation lane is a relationship between two locations that expresses the direct reachability of the locations for a specific means of transport. We will perform all our demo activities from the powerful transportation cockpit. In the cockpit, we can see our three sales orders, unplanned. We don't want to waste any time, so we trigger optimization manually. The system has considered delivery windows, distances, capacity and cost. In addition, it has analyzed our location structure and transportation lanes. Before commenting further, let's accept the result by saving it. We can see that our first customer order has been split across two freight orders. It is first moved from Detroit to a cross-dock location in Dallas, Texas. It is then transported to Fort Worth on a second freight order. Our second order is also cross-docked through Dallas. It is first shipped from Palo Alto to Dallas, before being shipped further to Houston. The third and final order is spread across three freight orders, first a short trip from our second Palo Alto warehouse to our main Palo Alto warehouse. Then cross-docked in Dallas before moved on together with the second order, through Houston and finally to Pearland. The transportation cockpit offers a number of configurable page layouts. We change to a map-based view and can see our three sales orders, split across five different freight orders on the map. Let us have a closer look at one of the five freight orders. We pick the one that brings the shipments from Dallas to Houston and later Pearland. In the document trail, we can the two sales order, consolidated into the same freight order. Increased consolidation is one of the key drivers for cross-docking. The functionality shown is available in S4 HANA transportation management, embedded and decentralized. It is also available in classic SAP Transportation Management 9.x. Let us recap some of the benefits of using S4 HANA Transportation Management for cross-docking. Cross-docking can help to reduce transportation costs through optimized routing. It can improve customer satisfaction by reducing lead time and more frequent deliveries. You can reduce overall inventory levels by providing alternative sourcing locations. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this are coming shortly. See you then.